Hi friends, I'm Mrs. J and welcome to The Book Escape. Today we are going to read Patrick Picklebottom and the Longest Wait. And I want to know, has there ever been a time where you had to have a really long wait for something you were super excited about? What did you do? That's what this story is about. So let's hop right in to see what Patrick does during his long wait. Patrick Picklebottom and the Longest Wait, written by Mr. J and artwork by Gary Wilkinson. For young Patrick Picklebottom, who loves books most of all, it was exciting to read what was up on the wall. Signs say the story times around five o'clock, a cute little tale about a flat-sided rock is supposed to be good, he heard a review, but he was two hours early with nothing to do. So he sat and he waited and he waited some more, more bored, more impatient than ever before. Was it five yet? He looked at the clock just to see, but oh no, it was only two minutes past three. It felt like a week had already gone by and for a moment he thought he might break down and cry. He had to find something to pass time along, so he decided to start by singing a song. He began with them bones, right into blind mice, then some 80s rock ballads that he thought were quite nice. He was dancing around, having all sorts of fun, and the next thing he knew, it was 3.31. Patrick sang all his songs and his dancing was through, so he set out to find something new he could do. So he wrote a short poem about a green little elf, not a bad piece of work if he said so himself. The green little elf sat up on a shelf and didn't have much to eat. He chewed on his tie, then he wondered why, so he ate his delicious green feet. So it wasn't that great and he'd have written some more, but he glanced at the clock and it was 10 after four. The next thing he did was find some old chalk and he drew a bright sun, some clouds and a hawk soaring the sky above a field and a lake. And then for no reason, he drew a big cake. It was chocolate with frosting and swirly red lines and a big smiley face with star-shaped design. Then he drew a fast car and pretended to race before drawing a rocket and flying through space. A small castle here and a dinosaur there and a chess game between a fern and a bear. He drew a small monster biting someone's nose and then a fat bug wearing oversized clothes. Patrick stared up at the world he created, all the things he had made in the time that he waited. The next thing he knew, it was 20 past five, but story time had simply failed to arrive. He looked at the sign to figure out why, and he smiled to himself with a wry little sigh. The time was at five, but the day was tomorrow, though he didn't feel anger, annoyance, or sorrow. He'd simply come back, and he wouldn't be late, precisely at three, to enjoy his long wait. The end. I hope you all enjoyed Patrick Picklebottom and the longest wait. Now, the next time you have a long wait, you know you can use your imagination, you can be patient, you can play, and the possibilities are endless. Thank you for joining me for story time, and until next time, bye friends.